Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 63 of the year 2019 restructuring the Bahrain Institute for Political Development Board of Trustees. The BIPD Board of Trustees has been restructured under Presidency of Information Minister Ali bin Mohammed Ramahi and the following membership. Dr. May bin Suleiman Al Atebi, Vice President. Dr. Khalifa bin Ali Al Fadl, Mohammed Ibrahim Al Sisi Al Bouinin. Ghazi Faisal Al Rahma, Bassam Ismail Al Bin Muhammad, Dr. Ibtisam Muhammad Saleh Al Dallal, Dr. Huriya Abbas Al Dari, Dr. Maha Saleh Hussain Al Shihab. The duration of their membership term is four years. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the UAE's 48th National Day. His Majesty wished the UAE President lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly Emirati people further progress and prosperity under His Highness's wise leadership. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the UAE's 48th National Day anniversary. His Royal Highness wished the UAE President lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly UAE people for their progress and prosperity, affirming the deep rooted fraternal ties between both countries and people and their constant progress at all levels. His Royal Highness also sent two similar congratulatory cables to the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness also sent similar cables to their Highnesses, the members of the UAE Supreme Council and Rulers of Emirates and their Crown Princes. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the UAE's 48th National Day anniversary. His Royal Highness wished the UAE President lasting good health and happiness and the brotherly UAE people for their progress and prosperity, affirming the deep-rooted fraternal ties between both countries and people and their constant progress at all levels. His Royal Highness sent two similar congratulatory cables to the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness also sent similar cables to their Highnesses, the members of the UAE Supreme Council and Rulers of Emirates and their Crown Princes. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, deputized the de Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Women, Sheikh Maryam bint Hassan Al Khalifa, to attend a ceremony for the occasion of the annual Bahraini Women's Day, which took place in the Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Hall at the University of Bahrain. In a statement to mark the occasion, Her Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to every Bahraini woman who works forward or towards further development as a mother, caregiver and a capable partner by making key contributions in all fields. Her Royal Highness said that the occasion marks the passing of 11 years since His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa set December 1st as Bahraini Women's Day in honor of their contributions. Her Royal Highness hailed the cooperation of every government institution in observing this occasion. Her Royal Highness also hailed Bahraini women's achievements in the academic field, which Her Royal Highness said is contributing to the country's transition to a digital economy. During the ceremony, Sheikh Maryam bint Mohammed honored distinguished Bahraini women in the academic field, including those who occupy leading positions and those who excelled in their studies. After that, a short documentary on women's contributions was shown. The Supreme Council for Women today celebrated Bahraini Women's Day under the theme Bahraini Women in the Field of Higher Education and Future Sciences in a ceremony held in Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Muhammad Al Khalifa Hall at the University of Bahrain under the patronage of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women. Congratulations uh, for a long journey that Bahraini women uh, started uh, last century uh, towards uh, education and higher education. 
uh, the Bahraini women excelled uh, in uh, different fields of higher education. The occasion highlights the significant achievements of Bahraini women in this field, where they have held senior leadership positions, including a university president and dean. It also emphasizes on their success in obtaining high scientific degrees in the fields of university teaching and academic research, as well as in joining international agencies and centers as members. Scientific research, it's, it's, a, a, it's a second part of you being an academic. The first part is teaching, but the second part is doing research, publishing your research, and eventually apply for uh, promotion. And without this promotion, you don't feel complete. You complete yourself when you do both parts well and you achieve both parts well. The theme of the Bahraini Women's Day also stresses the need to prepare Bahraini women for future science fields in light of their remarkable presence in the field of higher education as graduates or professors. This is something that will give us an inspiration of what we are supposed to do and also an incentive to give more of what we are working on for the future of Bahrain. The celebration crowned the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women in cooperation with ministries as well as public and private institutions to organize many functions marking the Bahraini Women's Day this year. Celebrating Bahraini women's contributions to higher education and future sciences emanates from the very distinctive feature characterizing both Bahraini women and the society, which is their respect and appreciation for science, hence the slogan, I read I learned, I participated. Reporting from Bahrain Television, this is Sarab al -Fatih. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa opened a career expo for comprehensive employment, which was organized by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center over the course of two days. The event was attended by a number of ministers, members of the legislative branch, representatives of civic and union organizations, and others. The exhibition comes as part of the execution of the National Employment Program, which offers suitable job opportunities for the unemployed. The Deputy Prime Minister said that the government is carrying on in its support for the private sector under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in order to enable the private sector to become the main economic engine of the country by participating in the comprehensive development plan that the country is experiencing under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the strategies of the Economic Development Board under His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which works towards attracting Bahrain as a destination for foreign direct investment. The Deputy Premier referred to a list of measures that are intended to offer an incentive for private sector companies to employ Bahrainis.
The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. During the meeting, the council issued a statement on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day in which it expressed pride in the role of Bahraini women in various aspects of life and their vital contribution to the development of the kingdom, which made them well deserving of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. The government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Council also approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the real estate rental law. An inauguration ceremony of the Legislation and Decisions on People with Disabilities book was held in the presence of Shura Council members and heads and representatives of a number of associations and institutions for people with disabilities. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa gives great interest and support to people with disabilities and directs to serve them through various institutions and authorities hailing the services and facilita facilitations provided by the government. He expressed pride in people with disabilities in the kingdom, stressing to continue to build on what Bahrain offers to them through the enactment of legislation and updating laws to achieve their aspirations. As Saleh noted that this inauguration comes within the council's keenness to make all these legislations in one reference to inform people with disabilities and their rights and interests. On the occasion of the fourth week of Italian cuisine in the world, in cooperation with Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Genova Municipality and the Italian Embassy in Bahrain organized a mortar pesto world championship contest here in Bahrain for the first time in the Middle East. More on this report with Hib Abdel Ghaffar. Food is a very important aspect of every culture and can play a great role in bringing people together. Bahrain celebrates with Italy its Cuisine Week by hosting the Mortar Pesto World Championship for the first time in the Middle East, organized by the Italian Embassy in Bahrain, Genova Municipality and Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Italy is the second healthiest country in the world and also thanks to the diet, to what we eat. And to highlight the similarities between the the, the way of eating, eating together in a family environment, getting together to eat uh, in the Mediterranean culture and in the Bahraini and the Middle Eastern culture. And upon this, this basis, I think that we can build uh, you know, stronger links in the, in the culinary field. And that's why we organize this competition. Ten contestants from Bahrain were competing to create the best traditional and authentic pesto sauce, aiming to win and represent Bahrain at the finals in Genova, the city where the pesto was originally created in Italy. The winner was Suresh Johan. This competition is to have a blend of uh, Bahraini culture and Italian culture mixed together so that people can enjoy having a nice meal together. Um, of course, as ambassador of Genoa to the world, I have a mission, which is the one to promote uh, Genova and uh, its culture abroad. And not only that, I'm on the side, I'm trying to help uh, Italian companies to have, uh, you know, a cooperation with the Bahraini community and to have uh, and develop some synergies together. We have had a, a very, very nice hospitality from uh, Bahrain uh, officer, also from uh, uh, the Italian embassy and uh, also the very, very participation by the, the, the competitors, no? because they have studied before to participate at the, the, competi at the competition. It was a wonderful opportunity for cultural exchange between Bahraini and Italian people and perhaps future business collaboration in the culinary field. We're here next to Bahrain Ford enjoying a wonderful display of the Bahraini-Italian friendship. We had here today the first in the Middle East World's Pesto Championship. Hiba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International. Gravity Indoor Skydiving held the first relay rowing marathon road to grow to raise money for the Bahrain Mobility International. More in this report. Gravity Indoor Skydiving, in collaboration with CrossFit Delman, held the first relay rowing marathon event in Bahrain Road to Grow. The event is a fundraiser to raise money for the Bahrain Mobility International, with 100% of the funds raised through event participation will go towards the cause. We're here at Gravity Indoor Skydiving Bahrain 
and we're hosting an indoor rowing relay marathon and we've organized it in collaboration with CrossFit Dillman. So we have a very great community here today with us. Um, the competition is a charity event in which all the proceeds, 100% of the proceeds will go to Bahrain Mobility International, which is a foundation that takes care of uh, Bahrainis and any people in Bahrain with physical disabilities. Uh, so it's a really great cause and we're very happy to host this uh, event here. It's the first indoor rowing relay marathon we've had in Bahrain and the turnout has been amazing. It's a very important event because it symbolizes the strength of the CrossFit and the fitness community to come together and raise funds for those in need. And it's also an elevation of how the entire fitness community has come together as one uh, to support a good cause. We are very happy that we have over 200 participants that represent over 20 teams. And uh, this is a gateway for some of our athletes who do CrossFit to maybe establish themselves in the rowing community as well. So that's amazing. Row to Grow is an open category event that brought together a total of 60 teams of both males and females from the ages of 14 years onwards to challenge to row 42.2 kilometers. We're here today at uh, Grow to Row. Um, uh, we're just here to have a good time with the team from the gym. I represent CrossFit Dinman, that's my gym. Um, represent my, the people I love to work out with every day and just do what we do, uh, but this time for a good cause. I think it's good, good to put some time to do some good work instead of just doing things for ourselves. And but this time we're actually doing something we do on a daily basis. But this time it's for charity, so um, I'm happy to be here and part of the, this initiative. I don't think everyone, everyone here does CrossFit or used to it over, but it's it's great to see a big turnout today um, from other CrossFit gyms or other gyms or other just groups from. Uh, different groups of friends probably or uh, um, like people just want to do this for, uh, for a good cause even though it's not something they're used to probably. It's something that we do every day but we're doing it in a slightly longer format. Uh, it's coming out here with your friends, with your gym mates um, and uh, putting in some time to work out and to also realize there are those that can't do it the exact same way you do so go out and do it every day while you can. The event also brought together an entire community rowing for a cause with a showcase of unbelievable performance, hard work, dedication and most importantly it was a school for the virtue of humility. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.